Hey, this is Matt with St. Bonaventure University Cyber 501, week 3 lab 3.3. And this lab is to uh, test out HIDS, uh, Intrusion Detection System with OSEC. So, um, the lab was to uh, install a, a HIDS uh, OSEC server, uh, which I did on a CentOS VM. This is the server, and I installed an agent here on Windows XP box that I have running in the VM. So I use the Windows agent. Uh, we connected to the, the server IP with the agent, uh, getting the authentication key. And therefore we, we have an agent hooked up to the server. And now we're going to scan with um, Nmap. And I decided to do a fallen scan on this host, which is the host. And as you can see, the fallen scan is and kicked off and running. Um, and I'll go to my, uh, I'm just kind of tailing the log file on the, uh, the OSEC server, and var OSEC logs alerts. I also installed um, here the, uh, the web UI. Uh, it's kind of a deprecated web UI, but it works good enough. And I've got it doing a real-time monitor. Um, so we can look through here and see uh, we've got a web server 400 error code. So here is NMATM web server 400 error code. Multiple web server 400 error codes from the same source IP. And there's the name of that machine is Ivory. It's running a um, IAS web server. It's also running FTP server and a, and a mail server. Um, so. As you can see, we've got all these web server error codes from the MF scan. I'm doing the vault scan. And we're trying to find, you know, like the admin directories, request directories. I think I, I have some, uh, do some searching here. I'm look at, uh, for the, oops, sorry. I'm monitoring all levels and they had a Microsoft Microsoft all search there we can see so we uh, FTP authentication okay. and we can also do uh, reconnaissance search. There's the uh, web server error codes and being run by the MMAP. Ball scan. So there you have it. It's a pretty cool system. Um, you can probably pipe this into a sim product like um, Splunk and, and create nice alerts you know, uh, from that. Pretty simple, straightforward. Setting up was uh, a little tricky, especially with the Windows agent. We had to do some um, configuration uh, specifically to get kind of the FTP and the uh, IIS web server logs. Uh, I also set up the um, a, uh, active response uh, so that we can actually run some scripts. Um, if certain things happen, as you can see, I still have logs going on. Let me just pop back real quick into the OSEC. And you can see we have uh, manage agents dash L. Now you can see there's my agent connected. You can see it actively running. I guess that's all there is really to it. This is a um, pretty easy one outside of you know the initial configuring um, of the server and the agent. So the documentation was a little rough. Okay. And the 
forward to, uh, to my next video. And